Cause.com and welcome back to my channel as always love having you guys here now as you can see from the title of the video we are doing an Ashley Stewart try on and haul this is like I think the first Ashley Stewart try on haul I've ever done not including going into the dressing room so this should be fun we gonna see how this works out for us it was an interesting try on so we're gonna go ahead, <laughs> we're gonna go ahead and hop into it because we got we got to discuss this one we're gonna have to have a conversation around this try on haul but before I do that, I have some really, really great news. You all should follow my homegirl, Hyatt Rita, because she will be releasing the information about her 2019 trip to Ghana. A lot of you have asked me about this recently, especially if you've watched my Ghana trip video. So if you are interested in traveling with her this year to 2019, it'll be during Christmas. So make sure you go ahead and follow her on her Instagram because she'll be releasing all of the info um, very, very soon. So you might wanna make sure you hop on that. I'll put her information here on the screen and in the description box below, please follow instructions and go follow her. If you are new to my channel, welcome. I am Shayna with ThickerscLosets.com and I do a little bit of everything here on this channel. I do some hair, some makeup, some fashion, some travel, some inspiration. I do it all. So you should go ahead and hit that red button down below and subscribe because I'm awesome. My subscribers are awesome and I just feel like you should go ahead and join the awesome family. But if you are old, <laughs> but a goodie, <laughs> You know, I ain't got nothing but love for you. So both of you go ahead and turn on your notifications, hit that bell down below, so you do not miss another upload from me. And without further ado, let's go ahead and try on this Ashley Stewart try on haul. So I'm gonna kick off this video with a jeans and t-shirt look. Very fun, very simple, but I always, I'm, I'm into graphic tees if I can find one that kind of fits my vibe. And when I saw this one, I thought it was just so cute. And look at this, like, okay, Ashley Stewart, I see you. I see you come through. I think this is so fun. I love it kind of in the screen print, super duper colorful. And of course, who doesn't love a couple of afros on a t-shirt? I have mine in a 1820. I typically wear 1820 in my tops if you're new to my channel. And this one is a very basic white t-shirt. The fit, very simple. I mean, it's not much to the fit. It's a t-shirt. What else can you say? Super duper stretchy. Um, Ashley Stewart, I will say, all the t-shirts that I have from them are like really, really soft. They're like those t-shirts that you could wear all day and not be hot in them. So kudos to Ashley Stewart for that one. I don't know how this would this would go with washing it. Um, I generally don't follow washing instructions. You know, <laughs> judge me if you want to. It is what it is. The shirt is just super cute and I thought it was really fun, especially if you're going for like an 80s, 90s vibe. I think that shirt would definitely be good to add to a look because there's so much color happening happening with it. Um, now the jeans I have on in the clip, honestly, I've had these jeans for going on two years, okay? Two years, and the fact that they still have them out means that they are actually really good jeans, but I love these jeans. I wear these jeans at least twice a week. Um, this is probably why their minds are faded because I wash them so often, but I'm obsessed with these jeans. And I have mine in an 18, these are 18 regular. Now, new to my channel, I'm six feet tall. So, you know, length of jeans is always like a thing for me, to be perfectly honest with you. These are not super long, they're not tall girl friendly, but I usually cuff my jeans in the warmer months and then I wear boots when it's cold out. So you don't really notice that they're short, um, but if you're average height short, you're gonna love these. I'm obsessed with these jeans. One, because the denim is soft, they got great stretch, they don't dig into my skin when I sit. That's the biggest thing. Like, I'm comfortable in these jeans. And they're a size 18. I love how they fit. I've never had a problem with these jeans. I've had them, like I said, for two years. Okay, well that's four fingers there. Two years. <laughs> but I really think these are amazing pair of jeans. They are distressed. Um, so they do have the holes here, like actual like legitimate holes. If you live in cold climates like I do, I don't wear leggings under my jeans unless I absolutely have to, so my skin is visible and I'm okay with that. But um, what I do love about it is that the, this hole here has not overstretched itself in two years. You know sometimes you get cut jeans or distressed jeans and then in like six months that whole hole has become like massive? I have not had that problem with these jeans. So clap, clap it up to you, Ashley Stewart, for coming with the real real. I'm into it and I f***s with it. Um, and... They have not frayed in the middle. <laughs> you know how major that is? You know, thick thigh problems, that chub rub be real, and you know, you could work a real hole in between, <laughs> between a pair of jeans, but two years, a lot of washing, 
no holes. So these are definitely bomb jeans and I definitely think you should consider them. We gotta have a chat about the skirt. We gotta have a real chat about this skirt because, um, and I knew better, I knew better. I, I, I know better. I've been shopping them for my body long enough to know better. I got this skirt while it is real cute if you're, cause you know, snake skin is definitely the print that is in right now. I got this in a size 18. I knew better. I should have gotten a 20, probably even a 22 because if you're like me, I carry most of my weight in my stomach. I don't have hips, so that's not really like a big problem for me and my butt ain't that big. So it's not like I have a lot to cover, um, but this right here though, this is a, this is, this is a no go sis. I have mine in a size 18. This ain't got a lick of stretch. Okay, I got a little scared putting it on because I heard that little snag with the zipper. I was like, oh, no, you know what? We're just gonna have, we're not, we're not even gonna try it because it's not gonna work. <laughs> it's just not gonna work. But I mean, it is it is very fun. It's definitely a showpiece. Um, I do not think any of these, these pockets are, they're not functional. Okay, I mean, you know what it is, what it is. It does have a back, clo um, okay. Trains running outside, you guys. Um, <laughs> it has a back zipper closure with a hook and eye um, here. And I mean, aesthetically, I like it, but I mean, as far as function, I would highly suggest if you're built anything like me, if you got booty, if you got hips, you got thighs, you got a stomach cyst, you might wanna size up a size or two because this right here, girl, what what is we doing? Like, ugh. and it's, it is a very nice skirt. And I, and for Ashley Stewart, I will, I will give, just do um it is lined so there is lining inside so you definitely are going to feel this when you're putting it on it this thing ain't forgiven it's not gonna forgive not a man piece of you you hear me it's just not gonna work so it as cute as it is i will say you need to size up at least one or two sizes like that is just that needs to happen because you're gonna be out here looking crazy like i do and i'm trying to help y'all not look crazy i mean unless if you're going for it then you know that's different I told myself this year I was gonna be a little bit more adventurous with my uh, choice of fashion and colors and prints. And a lot of times y'all seem to respond to that when I try, especially on my Instagram, y'all respond to me doing something that's out of Shayna's comfort zone. So I tried that with this situation here. And um, <sighs> so they have a, 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 a very vibrant, um, Asian inspired uh, set here. And all I'm gonna say is you might wanna go up a couple sizes on this one, okay? I'm gonna start with the pants. The pants are super fun. I mean, they're beautiful in the print. The material is very soft, very flowy, super duper wide leg bottom. I got these in a 20 because typically I wear an 18. I sized up to a 20 just to be on the safe side and I definitely need to go up to a 22 because there's absolutely no stretch in this. The waistband ain't got no stretch. There is a hook and eye closure with a zipper closure here on the side and it was a struggle getting these on. Like you can even see I got that little weird V happening um, there and it's kind of like, ugh, okay. Okay, and uh, yeah, no, and they're on the shorter side. So if you're tall like me, these are gonna be very short on you. My average height and short women, these are gonna flow very, very nicely on you. I think they will look beautiful on um, average or shorter women. Us taller girls, we definitely gonna need a lot more material because these things are short. Um, and like I said, absolutely no stretch. And y'all wanna know why else I don't like it? it ain't got no damn pockets. Y'all know me and my love of pockets. If you don't got pockets, we can't be friends. And that's just how it's gonna go. Now, on to the matching jacket here. Um, This also means you need to go ahead and size up, sis. I have mine in the 18, which is my usual size. Um, It was okay when I buttoned the first button. That second button though, <laughs> I like the idea of this jacket, but this, this, this it has a little, a little shoulder pad here. Um, it has <laughs> the cuffs. I don't know why I find this so funny because I really wanted this to work and it just did not work. The fit is just not there. You definitely have to size up in this in this blazer. Um, it does have this have a belt. The belt is also removable, so if you wanted to just leave it without a belt or wear something different, you can. The material itself is just really nice, and I like how it feels on, but the fit is just not there 
at all. And I get, this is a lot of look. This is a lot of look. I mean, if you're not into wearing pattern on pattern on pattern, this is a lot happening. But because they're separates, I mean, you could definitely wear this over something else or wear the pants with a different top. So there's options for you. But for those of us who wanna kind of step out of the comfort zone and be that full on showstopper, like you can't miss me, especially if you my height and all this bright color, like you can't, you can't think me, they can't miss us. We're gonna be out here just like, you gonna look at me fam. You ain't finna miss me, huh, right here. Um, but yeah, the, the blazer just all together, this, this little two piece situation sized the hell up. Now my absolute, absolute favorite piece in this entire haul is this jumpsuit. Literally this jumpsuit is fire. Like Liddy. Like, or what do these, what do these young, what do these young kids say? No cap or whatever that means. I don't be knowing. I don't be knowing the lingo these days, you know, mm -hmm. but <laughs> I have this black jumpsuit. Now on camera, I'm not going to do it justice. Like this is what it looks like. It has a little like tie front situation. If you can see it there. Um, I have mine in an 1820. It fits phenomenally like I can't even begin to say anything bad about the fit the fit is so good and what is it tall girl friendly the length on this jumpsuit I was supremely surprised I'm supremely grateful and thank you to you Ashley Stewart for the length of this jumpsuit it is phenomenal um and it does have it has a cuffed bottom which I thought was interesting but I actually like the cuff bottom I think it will go really well with a nice pair of uh pointed toe pumps like there's this oh it's just so good and because it's black you could literally wear it with any kind of combination that you have going on moto jacket blazer cardigan by itself whatever you want to go with in the clip I have it off the shoulder now if you put it on correctly it is not off the shoulder at all the model also had it on off the shoulder which is what prompted me to do it but it actually has a a button closure here in the back and if you button the, the back closure you cannot pull it off off your shoulders it's gonna bust the button but as you see I wore it without the button buttoned and I just left it off the shoulders I really like how it looks off the shoulders so I'm kind of probably gonna rock it that way personally but if you don't want to obviously just go ahead and wear it normally as one should it still has kind of like a v-neck situation going on so it's not super um a lot of, a lot of cleavage is going to show if you wear it the correct way um, so don't worry, don't really worry too much about that. The material, very soft, super dumb, stretchy. So it's super comfortable. Obviously, you know, unlike you know, like most jumpsuits, it takes a little bit of work to get in and out of, and you're gonna be fully naked in the bathroom. It's okay, you know, <laughs> the price of being cute. Um, but at the end of the day, this jumpsuit is just so well made and it's so nice. It fits so well. It feels really, really, really comfortable. The only, the only beef, the only beef, and it's the most important beef. And if you know me, you know what I'm finna say. It ain't got no pockets. It has no pockets. I'm like, come. I mean, that would have been the creme de la creme. That would have been like the best album on the planet. That had been like seeing Michael Jackson, Prince, and Beyonce all in one show. Like that's what this. That would have made the jumpsuit just perfect. Um, but other than it not having pockets, everything else is perfection. So if I could suggest anything, the denim jeans and this jumpsuit because. You're gonna love it. It's gonna fit great. You're gonna be fly. And you can't go wrong with a black jumpsuit because it's a staple as well. So you're welcome ahead of time. So there you have it, you guys. That was my Ashley Stewart try on and haul. Please let me know what you guys thought about this video in the comment section down below. What did you think about the pieces, even the ones that didn't fit so well? I would love to hear your thoughts on this one. So please go ahead, let's, let's discuss this in the comment section down below. Um, like I said at the beginning of this video, if you're interested in traveling to Ghana with Hyatt, please follow her Instagram. She'll be launching all the information very, very, very soon. You do not want to miss out on that, especially if you're thinking about going. It's going to be during Christmas time of 2019. So head on to her Instagram to find more, more about that. If you have any other brands or collections you would like for me to try on, please leave them in the comment section down below. Either go in store or go online or do both and get that video up for you as soon as possible. As always, I love you guys. Thank you so much for watching. And I am Shayna of AthegasClosets.com and I will see you in my next video. Deuces, guys.